course, the prospect of reeling in the DSTV Premiership's front runner is looking rather improbable. The battle for continental places still rages on and just past the halfway point of the season, Supersport United and Cape Town City are certainly part of that equation. Well, apart from runaway leaders sundowns, it's very tight in the top eight. For context, the citizens currently in the bottom half are just five points off second, having played three games fewer than Orlando Pirates. Their cause was aided over the weekend by a remarkably gutsy display in the mother city. Reduced to 10 men in the first half, they fought back from a goal down to defeat Swallows 2-1 and preserve their unbeaten run which extends to six on the spin. Last a depleted Supersport took on Skukuni United in their most recent outing where an 11 punctuated by plenty of youngsters held their own at Emirates Airline Park to emerge with a point. Victor Gomes will be uh, assisted today by Zagel uh, Siwela and Max Molelekwa Abram Mashala is the fourth official and the match referee just consulting with the captains Ronwin Williams and Tariq Phillies for Supersport and Cape Town City respectively. So after the toy, uh, coin toss the uh, player is instructed to switch sides. Katano Tembo back in the dugout with Andre Arantz having overseen proceedings earlier and now a moment of silence. Moment of silence observed, hearty round of applause for the, uh, the frontline workers for their efforts in trying to uh, prevent further illness to the COVID-19 pandemic. There's a look at the young man, 19-year-old Patrick Fisher, who starts right back for Cape Town City today. What an opportunity for him, Mr. Mato. It, an opportunity for him, but it's a full strength, almost full strength. Williams, and you have Johannes just alongside him, there's players. But it's the main man that comes into the midfield, which is Mukwe now alongside Weber. And that front line has got Kamsang Nakabuza leading it, supported by Lungu. Look out for his pace on that left-hand side. They're an attack force. Tabolo Dada pulls the strings. Guess who gets to play up front? Martin alongside Lakei. There's enough ammunition. There's Mayo as well. Look out for the experience of Phillies guiding that defense. So just moments away from uh, kickoff here. We're well into summer, which means that even as we approach 6, even 7 p.m. in the afternoon, still some uh, some sunlight. Uh, Super Sport United, the home team, get us up and running. Mokwena looking long almost immediately for uh, Thompson Kakapuza, who is the side's top goal scorer with six so far this season. He'll be looking to uh, get the better of Hugo Mark in goal for Cape Town City. Mokwane finds Nodada, Fakhri Lake at the attentions of Luke Fleurs. Now Basera lifting that one over the top. And it's wonderful pace here, displayed by Wiswa. Oh, brilliant! Cracking, cracking goal from Gampani Lungu. Well, he gave Tariq Vili's absolutely no chance. A wonderful turn of pace from the young Zambian. And he pinged it off the upright and in. For me, it's the pass from Bashera setting up the pace in Kampani Lungu. He still had some work to do because Phillies was chasing him. But it's the balance, it's the technique to play across the right hand side of the keeper. Well taken. It's beauty from the pass. Bashera to this man didn't disappoint. It's a good start and that's pressure that they've applied and won the battle and set up quickly. Pumakwala stands over this one, as does Kanyusa Mayo, both. Rather adept at, uh, at set pieces. Just wonder what they're opt for here. Well, if it's an inch thing, I'll go for Pumakwala, right footed. If you want to engage the players on the far side, then Kanyusa Mayo is your man. It is Makwala. And... Uh, a crucial header behind by Tabojo Mokwena. That may have been heading straight at Ronwin Williams. 
O el score es Cocha. Good head, actually. Actually, it is. I don't think you can take a chance leaving that because uh, Nilsson and Mokowani were both uh, creeping in and uh, looking to get a, a touch of their own. Crucial defensive header from Mokowani. Oh, so I'm going to go. It's a superb save by Ronwin Williams to keep them ahead. Made the Fasika Rose highest and powered that straight at the goalkeeper. It's the delivery. It's the aerial prowess and the technique to get it on target. It's the reflexes of the last line of defense. And that's Fasika showing his aerial dominance there. Here's the captain. Oh, without their big man in the mix, they uh, aim this one towards the back post. And it is yet another corner in succession. That seems to be well drilled. For the set to being paid onto the far side. Williams a little stranded there. Now Lungu. So Jamie Weber is the man brought down and it's a very promising position here. The ball McQuinn stands over it. He's got variations. Sometimes it doesn't go high and he plays it in such a way that he takes a bounce in front of the keeper and those are the most trickiest ones as Denis Onyango will tell you. Looks like a six-man wall has been assembled. McQuinn! How can you doubt this man? It's simply brilliant. An astoundingly good take from Tupoho Mokwena to record his fourth league goal of the season. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. You can say that again. It's more routine for him. It comes easy, but there's lots of work at training. Once more, it is a thing of beauty. No chance for Hugo Max beaten so you you then start asking questions you say Pomakula where are you this is my it is a my on the was so many Martin to uh, aim for Perhaps he could have cut it back to Marcola. He's ballooned it over the head of uh, everyone, including the defenders. It's a bit of inexperience. He gets into a good area, linking up with Fakri Lake, gets into the right zone. You played low because you have fake Martin, you have gone on to the near side. But even if you played hard and low, anything can happen. If the goalkeeper doesn't get to the end of it, it could deflect from your teammate and of Luis Popacher as well. Cut out by Dabu Nadada, but it's fallen now for Mahachi who goes for it. Ah, he has spotted Marks just slightly off his line and thought, why not have a pop? I'm trying to think which team did he enjoy his football? Because this is a man that at some point was signed by Bambi Mazda the Sundown. Didn't work been out around, from there. Didn't work out. He's been to Golden Arrows, which I think for me, yeah. that's where he's... He saw his good football. And now he's here at uh, Shooter Spot. He's yet to show his vintage football that he saw at Golden Promptly off his line is Ronan Williams connecting that one ahead of uh, Patrick Fisher. Having beaten Solos last time out, that was a 20th league win against counting based sides for Cape Town City since their introduction to the top flights. It's their 62nd game against counting based sides in the league today as Rasi Borcha tries to deliver in a cross. It's not his, uh, it's not his best. 
No. I think he's tired somehow. Because there's so much energy in him, there's so much potential. You can see his touches, his assertiveness to want to take players on. He's still work in progress. I can tell you he's tired again. <laughs> His pace is just too much. He's all in his peace. One on one situation, the speedy. Fake Martin. Stop in his tracks by Bashera. Almost half of Martin's appearances this season of uh, off the bench. He starts for the fifth time. appeared in all but one of uh, the side's 16 games. Offside call by Max Malalegua. That's a good one. It's way off <laughs> I'm not going to talk about Malalegua because then that I'll start thinking musically. But then again, I'm not too sure of your musical collection and how far deep you can remember an artist called Moses. Taiwa Muleleko. You're playing with something on the, on the trip back. You just have to write it down. There's an app. <laughs> You're assuming I know how to use apps. We're very close to the end of the, uh, the first half. And in fact, there is the whistle from Victor Gomes. Super Sports United have a healthy two goal advantage. Their first came by the boots of the Zambian Gampani Lungo, a fine finish after a, a brilliant ball over the top from Basera. And then this man, Taboho Mokwena, and his uh, return to the starting lineup, having uh, made an appearance off the bench last time. Well, he has chipped in with a quite marvellous second for Matsat Sansa. A glorious free kick that sees them two up on their own patch here at the Lucas Maripe Stadium. The opening goal inside 10 minutes. McQueen is inside half an hour. Supersport lead 2-0. Well, as the sun begins to set over Attridgeville, it is 2-0 to Supersport United over Cape Town City at the Lucas Maripe Stadium will be the visiting citizens to get us back underway here with uh, Terence Mascherho having been introduced. They've uh, shuffled things uh, slightly. With Patrick Fisher withdraw the debutante will not continue in this one. It does appear as though Mascherho will now uh, drop into the left back spot, his characteristic left back spot at Nielsen appears to be partnering Tariq Filis in the heart of defence with Keanu Kipiro playing as the right back. Here is it, Nielsen on the ball. He barges his way past one. That's away from Rassi Bocha. Now he's fed Terence Mascherho. It's on Makola. Ed Nielsen. Lovely ball in from Ed Nielsen. Craig Martin waiting at the back post. And could only turn it into the side netting. Positive starts from Cape Town City. Positive starts. Strength on that left hand side with Mashiho coming on. Ed Milson joining in. And you have uh, Craig Martin on the far side. Amper Marmis Tamper. He almost got it on target. McFleurs. Passera to Jamie Weber. Lugu beaten to it by Keanu Cupido. Now this is Eni Samayo. Mayo up against Fleurs and Passera. Still Mayo goes down under the challenge of Passera and a lifeline for Cape Town City awarded a penalty inside the opening two minutes of the second half. I would say needless. Was there any justification? Yes, he improvises. He's a tricky player, Kanyisa Mayo. You don't commit there because there is, yes, there is danger, but you don't commit. You look at how he has turned. 
he wasn't making any danger, opposing any danger to Ronin Williams. It's a good start in the second half. Well, in last season's 3-0 win over Supersport United, it was Fakhri Lakay, the former Matatansa man who opened the scoring from the penalty spot in that match. He has a chance to reduce the arrears here up against Ronwin Williams. Lakay makes absolutely no mistake. That is a superb spot kick. And just like that, the Supersport United advantage cut in half. They've come out flying in the second half. He should know, Omnis Mobashera, that that's such a fertile area. You don't commit mistakes like that because the conversion as well was just too good. They've strengthened the left-hand side with Mashifu, but I can tell you also, on the right-hand side, they strength because Kanisa Mayo is now operating on this right-hand side. Tell you, Super Sport are going to be making changes pretty soon. There's McQuina. No longer brought down, and a yellow card for uh, Makuane. Philly's trying to plead his case on behalf of his, uh, his teammates. And uh, another opportunity here for Taboho Makuena, who has already scored from a free kick. Can you have a brace? Oh, I mean, that looks very dangerous. Check this. Horrible. It's strange that, yes, he didn't look, see it as a very dangerous tackle. Normally he's quick, and I've seen him red card player straight away with a sort of challenge. Maybe he's in a Christmas mode. So McQuena placed this about 20 yards out from goal, a little more. I think the only, I'm not too sure, but I'll be corrected by our knowledgeable fans, but the last time I saw someone score two free kicks in the same match, it's come a billion. Now would McQuena perhaps prefer to have placed this one or two yards back? This is closer in than his uh, previous free kick. may not be able to get it up and over the wall, but don't doubt his ability. He established the two-goal cushion. He would love to restore it. Look of concentration from McCrane. Steered that into the hands of Hugo Marx. Watched it well. I guess there was a position he didn't play it onto the right hand side of the keeper because that's what he did in the first one. He played it more on the left hand side and the keeper was well positioned. Easily savable height for Hugo Marx and uh, rather close to him. Inside, I think it was within reach of the keeper. It wasn't too far off from him. It almost played straight to him. So Tabo Nodada's already been booked. That's right. Tabo Nodada was booked inside two minutes for uh, a tackle on Rassi Bocha. And guess who gets yellow card? Makola has joined him in the book now. What? what did he say? I mean, he's saying things that... Uh, Must have been to say. He got into trouble at some point. Well, Makola has a long history with yeah. uh, referees. So there's the red card. You can see it in the background. See? Red card for... It's not Dada who's got... Popo born uh, Tabo Nodada. I mentioned it took only two minutes for him to receive his first yellow. That was after a clumsy challenge on Rassi Bocha. And now he's picked up a second booking and he is off. The man who's made over 100 league starts for Cape Town City. 
opportunity for Makola. He feeds Dansane. Back to him for Makola. Terence Mashejo loops the head. Oh, is it a no goal? Unbelievable. The 10 men of Cape Town City have snatched another goal back. And young Keegan Johannes. Well, I think it is his header that's helped that into the back of the net. Absolutely unbelievable. Mashejo on for the Davidson. Patrick Fisher as they reshuffled the, the pack at half time, Cape Town City. And look at this intricate interplay here. It's a Pomacol who does wonderfully well to find the unmarked Mashejo. It's his looping header and. Oh, what do you make of that? Would it have gone in in any case, bro? I don't think it would have gone in, but out of panic and not being aware of his area and maybe thinking that he is under pressure in an attempt to want to tear it, resulting in an own goal. But such is the character of this team. Phillips actually touches back his whole hand in the air himself. Said. Now this one drops. Oh! Unbelievable! Unbelievable from Keegan Johannes! Well, how about that for making amends? Now you need to correct my English. From a villain to a hero? Am I right? You are right. Okay. Scores on the wrong end. Patrick Pass. And then scores in the most emphatic fashion in the correct goal. Well taken. Just pass that ball. Not the most convincing of clearances, but a technique. Sight puts the ball with some power there. Watch that. Sometimes you need a centre back. Who said centre backs don't have technique? <laughs> Into the four minutes of additional time. Lakay sends it in was a good cross and a tame header from Morris. Just over a minute remains. Headed away by Fleurs. Okeke picks it up. Drives forward. Dansani misplaces his pass. It's Lapo. Finds McQuena as Super Sports United effectively escape. And McQuena has looked to try and uh, throw that over marks and score from range. And that will afford Cape Town City one final opportunity. Philly's challenges for it. It breaks for Lekay. The numbers in the box for City and Terence Mashejo can't keep that alive. It's tough for them, they've lost that rhythm, that energy levels of coming out of the, in the second half to attack more. And they were rewarded with the two goals that they scored. The second remain now. Absolutely clattered there and that should be it because it will be a Super Sports United free kick after Maziko was uh, brought down. No side from a goal kick, so he was uh, hanging about 10 yards in front of the, the defensive line of Martin and uh, Cupido and Craig Martin. was rugby tackle into the ground here. And that rugby tackle, he got it right, except there's a different game. So they could potentially put glass on this result here, Super Sports United. It's all but uh, done and dusted considering that this will likely be the last kick of the game and an opportunity perhaps for Jamie Weber to bulge the back of the net. <laughs> Weber strolls up and forces a magnificent save from Marx and that's it. The game comes to an end and what a night it's been.
at the Lucas Moripe Stadium. This one has had it all. Five goals, a penalty, a red card, an unbelievable free kick, and a couple of other superb goals. Add an own goal into the equation, literally from a footballing perspective when you think of uh, key major moments. This game has had every single one that you can imagine. It's been an absolutely outstanding contest here at the Lucas Morita Stadium. There's a 12th league meeting between these two sides. Supersports United came into the match with two wins, Cape Town City with four, but it is the hosts who grab another victory, 3-2 the result.